David Reed. What's up, bro? It's your man, Mr. Sam 44, man. Still down here at the Transit Center. I'm down here with my man, David Reed. Hey, it's going to affect him, too, bro. Tell us what's happening. What's it going to do for you? Man, I take my babies to every morning. We get up at 7 in the morning. Get on the, uh, that, uh, Davidson bus. Right. We take the Davidson bus down. We walk off. Get back on the bus. Three of them. I work with them. Right. You know and a lot of times, it's already affecting me now because I can't even work the hours I need to work because I got to be out by 12 o'clock at night. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. right. they don't run no more. Right. I got to leave at 12, and I've been doing 12 hours since lately. You know what I'm saying? I work from 12 at noon. I'm about to go do now to 12 midnight. And you know what I end up doing at night? I'm going to the casino. I sit at the casino from 1 in the morning to the bus running. Hey. So, them setting down the bus for And see, and this is what this going to do to real citizens here. This yeah. man is going to be affected. And you know what I'm saying? And all these people, right now, this is on a Sunday. You see how it is out here? Now, just imagine it being tomorrow morning when people got to go to school, got to go to work. And that's why I'm trying to let y'all know right now. If you don't know, get to my show. Damn it, get to it as fast as you can. Make some arrangements. Because if you working, you got a job, you got to be at. You better be there because they ain't hearing that. Because they're going to say that ain't my responsibility. Then they got the 369 rule at the schools now. Three absences, or three late to the absence. Six absences, they send the, uh, the officer out to your house to come talk to you. And then nine absences, they prosecute you. So, so if they shut the bus down, the children don't go to school. Our hands tied. Now we're about to get prosecuted. It's horrible, man. It's horrible how they run in the city right now. It is. And see, and this is real talk from real people out here. You know what I'm saying? And I can't say it no better because this is affecting their life just like anything out here. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate your time, man. I appreciate you giving me your word. Hey, it's your man, Mr. Sam, 44 Mad, y'all. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be a heavy, heavy impact on a lot of people's lives out here. All these people that rely on catching this bus behind me, man, they really need this service. And this can't last long without the people protesting about this because this will be protested about. Believe that. Because these people can't continue to do this and keep surviving. And then the kids going to already be tied up for school. And then they won't be in school. And then the parents going to be prosecuted because they can't go to school. Well, check this out. That's why they ain't going to school. Because those ain't going to be running. So when they ask you why your kids ain't in school, say because that wasn't running. And that's all I can tell you. Talk to your mayor. Shit. Tell him he going to jail. It's your man, Mr. Sam 44 Man, down here in the... Rosa Park Transit Center with all the people down here that's got to catch these vehicles and they're not going to be able to do it on Monday and I hate to see what they got to go through and especially if you got to work and got to get your kids to school. You're tuned in to the Detroit Raw Show right here only on YouTube and also on social cam.